irrespective of whatever he has done. At his lowest moment in life, when he's literally struggling to stay alive, he will unleash such viciousness against him. I bear no grudge against anybody, but uh, this had, had not seen that in President William Root. The man I'm seeing is the one is not the one that I thought that I knew. I know there was concerted effort that I should not go to Kuala for the celebration. Wilson Airport were told that I should not go through Wilson Airport. All owners of helicopters were told that I should not be allowed to use any of them to go to Kuala. I don't understand. But as I say, I want the people of Kenya to know that as I go home today, I have no security. And uh, it's good that they know. And if anything happens to me, all my family, President William Ruto must be held to account. We've made many mistakes in life. And we keep on learning. I trusted President William Ruto. The people of the region where I come from, the Mount Kenya region, trusted him. In fact, as we were preparing to go to office, nobody else trusted him. Musalia Mudavadi demanded that the Masai in an MOU with him, which they did. Moses Wetangula demanded that they, met, they must sign an MOU with him, which they did. Um, uh, Amazon Kingi demanded the same. Alfred Mutua, everybody else. I'm the only man who trusted him. Verbally, because we are Christians, we used to go to church together. And as a Christian, I believed a fellow Christian that he would never betray me or my people. For the last one year, it's been very difficult for me. But I'm a very persevering man, very enduring. And um, what happened on Thursday is a culmination of continuous persecution and stress for a year. And when I look at it, probably, it is history repeating itself. But President William Ruto wanted to take me the route President Daniel Aramoy took Kenneth Matiba. He pushed Matiba 